Welcome back, everyone. Now, we talk a lot about the push to turn Northeast Florida into a major foodie destination, and Kosher Network International is taking that movement one huge leap forward through an exciting new culinary venture based right here in Jacksonville, the Jamie Geller Test Kitchen. The Test Kitchen gives uh, KNI chefs the ability to li live broadcast what they're cooking on social media, which sounds really, really cool. It's two sinks and two ovens, follow relation er, religious laws, which dictate total separation of meat and dairy. And joining with more is Lori Laura Frankel, rather, Culinary Director for Jamie Geller's Tex Kitchen. Welcome. Thank you. All right, so for those who aren't familiar, what is the Kosher Network International and its founder, Jamie Geller, and I guess tell them, what, what, what do they do? Well, we're a media company, um, and we're international. So uh, Jamie lives in Israel, we're here in Florida, and we have people in New York, we're everywhere. Um, we have a wonderful website, joyofkosher.com. We have our Facebook page, um, Joy of Kosher. We have a magazine, a print magazine with beautiful pictures and recipes. Um, we do YouTube videos. We do we do it all. Every, I was about to say everything. everything. Food. If you Everyone's find a way tired to, over there, can to, I? <laughs> to teach people about food, we're on it. I mean, it's cool because I think I grew up with a Jewish neighbor, so I know a little bit about kosher food, but I mean, I don't think most people would understand what it actually is. So this, this test kitchen that's opening up, why is it here? In Jacksonville. Well, there's a lot of the um, kosher producers and vendors here in Florida. Everyone comes through Florida, through this part, with all the grocery oh. chains and everything down here. So if you have a kosher product, chances are you're down here a couple of times a year. That and makes it's sense. perfect for us because we have this beautiful kitchen and we can have people in and we can test products and work with them and have a lot of fun with it. So what all is going to happen in the kitchen? Is Can people be pretty interactive with what's going on while it's being live broadcast? Well, we are. We do a lot of Facebook Lives and that's one of our favorite ways to uh, reach out and touch everyone. Um, and anyone can find us on our Facebook uh, page on Facebook as well as um, kosher... Uh, joyofkosher.com. So how did you get involved? I've been doing kosher food for 17 years. And Cooking for other people? Um, I've owned three of my own restaurants. Oh, wow, look and, at you. And then I worked for Wolfgang Pog. Did you really? I did. That's huge. That is huge. So was that was it normal to incorporate? Were you cooking kosher food I was for Wolfgang Puck? Yes. So there was oh. uh, kosher kitchens, and I ran the kitchens for Wolfgang Puck. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more while we yeah, get this started. Yeah, so I've got some excited. olive oil heating here, and we're doing um, July is free month for us. So what that means is we're taking different foods and turning them around on their heads a little bit upside down. So we're doing a uh, cacio e pepe, which is that famous uh, uh, cacio Roman. Cacio e pepe? Yes, it's that famous well. Roman pasta dish. Um, but because it's free month, we're going to take out the pasta and sub in uh, carrot noodles. So it's a little lighter, which is perfect for summer. Light for you summer. Lighten up on the carbs because yeah. you're in bathing suits a little more often. So the fun part of the dish, it starts right here in the pan with a little warm olive oil. Um, and I'm just toasting my peppercorns till they get like very fragrant and delicious smelling and wonderful. Yeah, it's pretty obvious when like you've toasted them, right? Cause yeah, you can smell and you can uh, sizzle a little bit. Mm, um, it's delicious. So now I'm going to add um, my butter. And I've got three tablespoons of butter. So we're gluten free, but we're having fun with a little bit of flavor here. <laughs> that yeah, never is, hurts. It, is it easy to be 100% gluten free when you're also kosher cooking? Um, actually, actually, it is, yeah. The, oh, okay. the gluten free has nothing to do with kosher, it's only where it comes into um, meat and, uh, and seafood. Okay. And how easy is it to make the, this whole meal? Easy, easy. Um, and we like to do things fast, fresh, and family. Um, we're all about getting out of the kitchen, sitting down with your family or your guests, and not spending all your time freaking out and doing all kinds of excess yeah. stuff. Because those meals that take four hours to make. No fun for anyone. They're, they're delicious, but exactly. They're no fun for the cook, fun for everybody else eating. Yeah. So, right, so what I've, else did you just I've add? got my butter, a little bit of water. Okay. And this, I'm making this like basically like a little sauce here. Um, and I'm going to add some vegetables to it. I've got fresh peas. Yes, the green, the color. I love the colors of all kinds of vegetables. I do, too. And this was a fun recipe that's kind of a twist on peas and carrots. Really? Yeah. So I've got some sugar snap peas that are going in here as well. Perfect. I love, something beautiful about sugar snap peas, the way they cleanly break, break like that. Yeah, I love it. I just also love the architecture of vegetables, too, apparently. I love that. Learning new things on this show. I love that you said that. Um, and then some cheese. And you can, we're going to use Parmesan cheese. You can use whatever cheese you have um, that melts nicely and gives a beautiful sauce. Is there a kind of cheese that you shouldn't use because of the way that it melts? No. Any kind of cheese? Yes. The world the, is your oyster. The classic, well, kosher oyster. So, kosher oyster. <laughs> <laughs> the classic, I'm going to reach right here. The classic dish has um, uh, Roma, Romano cheese in it. Oh, okay. Pecorino Romano. But we're going to do it with Parmesan. So now, we're, this is our 
pasta, right? This is our pasta going in. This is so different because we've seen a lot of the zoodles, the, the zucchini noodles seem to be more on trend lately. Right, and that would work here too. Um, we're just using carrots because they're so beautiful and fresh this time of year and wonderful. And I'm gonna get it, a little bit of kosher salt in there. I love the way this looks. Color is everything when it comes to these kinds of dishes. And it's, oh. a, it's fresh and bright. You can do this ahead of time. You can serve it warm. You can serve it cold. And the way that when the carrots cook down, do they thin out a little bit or do they Just lose a little, a little bit of water? And I don't want to cook them down too much because I do want a tiny bit of crunch to it. I want it to be a little That's too That's what I was wondering. Right, yeah. right, right. Okay. I don't want it totally soggy. This smells really good, by the way. Yeah. It, like the, the way that it, that, I guess that sauce you made in the beginning made this extremely fragrant. Right. Ooh, and and so now <laughs> I've got a plate down here. Oh, is it? Is it, are we done? That's it. Are you serious? Yeah, that's it. Is that really? <laughs> yeah. That was so fast. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, there's a few more steps. No, that's literally it. No, oh that's wow. It. All right, well then, yeah, let's plate this. Let's try it. Yeah. Oh my God. Laura, you just made my whole day better. All right, well, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> you obviously can try this before the show's even over, probably. <laughs> you can find more <laughs> recipes, menus, and meal ideas from The Joy of Kosher with Jamie Geller on their website, joyofkosher.com. And I'm gonna eat, and we'll be right back.